And we start, before we get into this talk, with a disclaimer that we put on everything at the beginning of the show that we didn't want to have to keep saying, so we kept it as a simple disclaimer. Again, the opponent was the New Orleans Saints. How much of this game translates to the rest of the season? Because at the same time, we were putting out our disclaimer. Each one of us said that the Steelers would be at least 5-4 and four if T.J. Watt had been healthy the whole season. So we must think they're at least a decent team, if not a good one, with him in the lineup. That doesn't mean he's going to be in the lineup the whole rest of the year, but if he is... He makes such a difference. Are they going to make a run at the playoffs? Are they going to make a run at 500? Bob? Yes, but they're going to have to win this Sunday. This this is the key. If they fall to 3-7, and seven, I think that's going to change. They'll win some games along the way, and they'll finish 8-9, and 9-8, nine, nine and eight, but I don't think it'll be enough. I think if they win this game, and if you look at their schedule based on who they have, yes, they can. If Watt's healthy the whole way, their defense is pretty good, and I think you'll see this offense gain a little momentum, Ron. So I think they can be a contender. Sound like a hockey coach, momentum. Got to get some mojo. Got to go get some, gotta get some mojo. mojo. Get some momentum. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm with you. I think if they win this game to go to four and six, and then what? They go to uh, Indy. Indy. And, and then, then Atlanta. Atlanta. Those are winnable you games. Know, those They're also losable games. Oh, of course. <laughs> Every uh, one you of know, them. I'm sure Atlanta and Indy are thinking we can beat the Steelers, right? Especially at home. So you think they can be a playoff contender? I'm going to still say no. I, I, I'm going to stick with seven and ten, but. You know, obviously after yesterday, again, no with the qualification. Um, and if they beat Cincy, then I'm going to have to re readjust my focus, if you will. Yeah, I think they're probably going to wind up being seven and eight. And I think that will mean that they're, quote, in it again, um, going into their last two games at Baltimore and Cleveland. I don't even think they need to beat Cincy to get to seven and eight. I think over the next stretch after Cincy, they'll be three and seven if they lose. They have Indy, Atlanta, home against Baltimore, Carolina, and Vegas. I think they can go 4-1 and one in those games in spite of themselves and come out of all that 7-8, and eight, which is exactly where I think they're going to be after 15 games, 7-8, and eight, which in some ways will be exciting. In a lot of ways, it's the worst place you can be in pro sports, right around 500 with no chance to win a championship. And yet... I will acknowledge, like yesterday's game, if you're a Steeler fan, I'm sure it was fun to watch. And if they get back into the playoff hunt, people were going to be saying, what a turnaround, what an amazing season. You know, they're going to enjoy it. And then you go to, say you go to Kansas City or Buffalo, you get blown off probably. Well, I don't, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think know. they're going to complete the journey and make the playoffs. Do you guys? I don't, no. No, realistically, they have a long way to go. But based on the schedule... You know. The schedule is very, very, one of those very teams favorable. Are beat them. Carolina, Atlanta. Most likely they're going to split their one AFC of those teams games will beat them. in the division. If that happens, then they're going to have to – they won't be enough. 412-928-9370. Did this game rekindle your interest in the Steelers, get you fired up for the rest of the year? Or are you keeping in the back of your mind, man, I kind of wish – that it was a game where Pickett played great and they still lost to preserve this draft pick status, which is a real thing if you know Steeler history, that losing seasons can beget wonderful things.